It was steep, windy, beautiful, and long. <laughs> wow, that is hot. You must be hot. You are so red. <laughs> home from Hawaii where I attended a medical conference. I did attend most of the conference. We also had time to explore the island and have quite a bit of fun. I attended with my dear friend Melissa and she's a wonderful traveling companion. We had a lot of fun. The Big Island of Hawaii is named the Big Island for a reason. It can fit all of the other islands of Hawaii twice. The island really has a diverse landscape. On one side of the island, the leeward side, it's dry and arid and it has a lot of black lava and dry brush. And on the other side of the island, the windward side is a tropical rainforest. It gets over a hundred annual inches of rainfall a year. And it's so interesting because as you travel around the island, within just a short distance, you see a completely different landscape. I want to take you along and show you what we saw and what we learned. The Kona Airport gives off immediate aloha vibes. There aren't any external walls, it's all open and airy. Day one, here we go. This sign caught our eye. We had to stop. These are famous Hawaiian donuts called malasadas. And boy, were they delicious. This was our first taste, but not our last. The entrance to Hawaiian Volcanoes National Park was a little nondescript, but the park did not disappoint. This steam is coming from actual lava at the bottom of the Hale Mau Mau Crater. From this location, you cannot see down inside the crater. There is another vantage point, takes a little bit of effort to get to it, where you can actually see the lava. It is best viewed at night. The lava does not always flow, it comes and goes. The ranger had told us earlier in that day that it was not flowing, but that things could change minute by minute. So we decided to risk it. We walked about three and a half miles out to the vantage point and it was a beautiful walk in the dark. The stars were so bright and beautiful. And then we started to see this red glow on the horizon and we knew the lava was flowing. It was so exciting, such a thrill and something I will not soon forget. Incredibly grateful for this experience, seeing Earth created before my very eyes. Bring a headlamp. The road out, or I should say the path out, is paved, but the last little bit is dirt and uneven ground. <laughs> we went on a few other hikes in the park. One was a short hike past steam vents. The steam didn't really smell like sulfur like it does in Yellowstone. Next up was the Kilauea Iki Trail hike. You walk around the crater rim in the jungle and then descend down the steep canyon walls into a caldera, walking across black lava that had cracks. And it you could see where the lava had pushed up the crust. Pictures do not do this justice. It is an otherworldly experience and so cool. Welcome, Welcome to, to Mars. Mars. <laughs> 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 and that's what we just came up. Yeah, that makes it really Climbing back out was moderately steep, not too bad. And then we 
went over for a quick stop through the Thurston lava tube where lava flowed and then got plugged and created this tunnel. We had great views for lunch at Volcano House, which is the only place for food in the park. Day two, we took a very scenic drive up into the northernmost part of the island. We went through a cute little town called Javi. Along the way, just north of that, in a town called Kapayao, we passed a majestic statue of King Kamehameha the Great. This is near his birthplace. He is credited with uniting all of the islands and is highly regarded as one of Hawaii's greatest kings. We came to the Polulu Lookout, which is an erosional valley along the Kohala Mountain, one of the five volcanoes on the island. This valley was caused by a massive landslide. It is beautiful, lush and green, and it ends at a black sand beach. You can hike down to the beach, which is a pretty steep hike. It's a couple of miles. I really wish we would have hiked it. Supposedly the black sand is soft as velvet. On the way back, we stopped at this little roadside stand for a little bite. They were having some live entertainment. And these two ladies who were in the audience just couldn't resist. They got up to dance. Look at the joy on her face. <laughs> what a treat. Let's take a little tour at the resort where our conference was held, the Hilton Waikoloa Village. It is a beautiful property, large, built right around the natural coastline. It has a lot of amenities, pools, a place to snorkel. There's a little dolphin area, sadly, where dolphins are kept. Uh, I wish they were free. This is a little wedding chapel with beautiful views. Supposedly the Kona side has the more luxur luxurious resorts. The Hilo side is a little older area. This resort is about right on, the main property is like $700 a night. It has a golf course, it has beautiful areas overlooking the ocean for relaxing. They have a little dolphin show, lots of water features, a pool, a lazy river, a lot of statues and beautiful art, gorgeous flowers, unique flowers, and turtles, my favorite. I loved watching these turtles, although they didn't move much. <laughs> they just sat there still, chilling in the sun. What a life. After the storm, I'm not a match simply waiting to burn. All I am is a friend, your friend to the end. I'm not your impression of a city wish. Loved more than everything you gave her it And I'm not here to criticize the risk All I am is a friend, your friend till the end All I am is a friend, your friend till the end
done Or that thing that you did And I'm not the shadow of anyone you've been All I am is a friend Your friend to the end All I am is a friend Your friend to the end All I am is a friend Your friend Okay, we're on Iron Man Drive in Kona, and I just want to show you this tree. It is huge. Okay, now, you might not think this is really big. Jenny, go up there That's and stand in front of that. What you do to give it some so you see that. Well, hurry, because I'm picking the video. Okay, so here's how big it really is. Go ahead. You're totally dwarfed, Jenny Claire. Go ahead, ma'am. It's amazing. where the Ironman race is, the swim. This is the swim start. Yum, yum. Our last day and one last hurrah hike up Pu'u Wa'awa Cinder Cone Trail, otherwise known as Jello Mold Hill. Have anything you want to say? Yeah, this is not an 8% grade. This is a 12%. <laughs> and it's horrible. Three miles of 12%. There you go. This hike is right near Kona. It's about a six and a half mile round trip hike through verdant fields. Kind of reminded me of New Zealand. It's a ranch, so there are cows, sheep, goats, and even pigs, although we didn't see any of those. We got off trail a little bit, so we added about a mile and a half to our trip. It was almost eight miles by the time we finished. Here you can see the trail going up the side of the mountain. This is a challenge, and Missy is killing it. I mean, she's killing dying, her feet, right. and right. she's also killing it. And right up there at the tippy top is the summit marker. We're close. It's the top of the mountain. Woo! All right, hold on. Summit. We made it. We made it. It was steep, windy, beautiful, and long. Yeah. And steep and steep. And we're here and we did it. Did you say it was steep? I think I, I it I, was steep. My feet are numb. I think <laughs> I need to mention that it was steep. <laughs> oh man, what a we took the best way up. We we did. Everyone said go counterclockwise and we thought, oh what do they know? So yeah. we went clockwise. <laughs> And that whoever decided whoever decided that was an idiot. Yeah, they were. But we did better it. Better hikers than us. <laughs> From the top, you can see Maui on a clear day and four of the five volcanoes on the island. It's a wonderful view. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run, standing on your own knees? It's a beautiful world out there, just don't pass on the dead. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world We visited many beaches while we were here. We saw black sand, green sand, white sand, salt and pepper sand. And after our hike, we went for a dip 
at the beautiful Hapuna State Beach. Most beaches we went to took a little work to get to, but this beach is easily accessible. It's usually voted in the top 10 beaches of America. It's beautiful. It is more crowded, but it didn't disappoint. The water is crystal clear and just absolutely beautiful. We finished the night with Hawaii giving us a wonderful send off, beautiful sunset. And I want to thank Melissa for being such a great traveling companion. Mahalo, Hawaii. Thank you so much.